Okay, we've now managed to get the um, HCH1 PWN fan driver uh, assembled, and I've got some basic software running. The software just overrides the fan when the charger's plugged in and uh, allows you to adjust the speed um, based on the current consumption. And um, because of the power supply is rated at 1.5 amps, I've allowed the current to be adjusted between half an amp and 1.4 amps just to give a little bit of headroom for the supply so we're not running it completely flat out. So if I just uh, turn it on, the fan's cranking up, and you'll see it's hovering about 1.4 amps. Uh, I can hear it going in the background if I tiddle the uh, potentiometer down, right down to the bottom, and that's the minimum current. And you can hear it's cranked right down. And uh, if I leave it somewhere in the middle, which is a reasonable setting. Well, milliamps. And it's giving a good flow. Um, so I think that's probably adequate for grid charging cooling purposes or cycling cooling purposes. So that seems alright. But you can adjust it basically between uh, half an amp and an amp current consumption. Last way an amp and a half, just under an amp and a half current consumption. That seems to work alright. I'll post this uh, code so that a few of you who've um, got one of these boards can um, mess around with it if you want to. Um, should theoretically be possible to have uh, the even the grid charger fan um, feedback loop control because this other wire from the fan, which is um, catered for on the printed circuit board and uh, feeds into the pick is um, the speed sensor output from the fan so it should be possible to um, create some software that will basically monitor the pulses coming in from the fan and adjust the current accordingly to maintain the fan at a chosen speed at the moment i'm just using a simple current adjustment just to adjust the pwn output um, within the limits which i've specified there so uh, progress being made 